Bonjour à tous! Hello everyone! So today was a pretty basic day. I went to class. It was methodology. We talked about how to combine ideas and actually write with good transitions and all that stuff that I learned two years ago. And I did homework. My homework is actually right here. Uh, it's writing directions to a place because I haven't actually studied this kind of French in eight years. <laughs> so that was actually pretty helpful. That was good. And today, the actually the actual event was just playing with makeup today. I had fun. It was good time. I just had fun playing around with the eyeshadows I have, even though it's not that many. Um, but yeah, I wound up using just random stuff. And it's all drugstore, so it's all cheap as hell, because I don't got money for an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Are you kidding me? I don't have my money. <laughs> Those are like 60 bucks. <laughs> It's insane. I can't do it. Can't do it. Nope. But yeah. There's this one with all the browns. Transition shades. And I've got these things. That are these duos. I don't use the purple, but the rest of them I do. I don't know. I don't know what to do with the purple. I should probably try to use it at some point because it is a really pretty shade. But yeah. I like to use the gold, especially in junction with this. I'll put this color here in the crease, deepen it with this after I put on a base of this. Then I'll put this on my lid and the gold on the inner part. That's actually what I did today. And then, yeah, I just kind of put the pink in the inner corners as well, which is fun. Um, but yeah, I have fun with this. It was good. And that's something sometimes people don't get. Makeup is fun. I have fun. I entertain myself with different colors by messing with my eyeliner, by messing with... I don't even know. It's just fun to play with. I tried out something called a CC cream today. No, this is my primer. This is not what I was trying. <laughs> this is what I was trying. It's a CC cream. Which basically means that this goes on my face green, and then you blend it in and it turns into your skin color. It's witchcraft. Witchcraft. I don't know how this works, but it does. And it goes on green because it takes away redness. And guess what this girl has usually that you can see in my previous videos? A red splotchy face. <laughs> I mean, my veins are really prominent, so you can probably see that my veins are bright blue. Basically meaning I have the warmer red undertones. Like, you can't tell. So, what this does is cancel it out. And it makes me look normal. <laughs> Instead of the ruddy person I am. Honestly, how much Irish Scottish blood do you need for that? Because that goes back at least four generations. I've done the genealogy. But yeah, it might also be because I got that albino variancy thing. Yeah, you can be part albino. That's me. <laughs> but yeah, I had fun trying it out and playing with my stuff. I might try to get more eyeshadows because my collection is literally what I just showed you apart from this white one. That's it. <laughs> and then there are these people with like 72,000 palettes and I'm sitting here like, I wish I could afford that. And then they're like, oh, you get 70 colors in this palette for like $15. And I'm sitting here like, what? <laughs> how, 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 how? But yeah, anything like contouring and Highlighting, I don't do because I don't do it right. <laughs> and I kind of just leave that alone. 
Uh, maybe I'll get a contour whatever thing and see if I can just practice. Because this was just for fun. I didn't even wear this outside. I put it on before I started filming. Just to have fun. I think that's good. It's good to have fun. It's good to play around with stuff. I mean, sometimes you just get those people saying, Oh, but you don't need makeup. You're prettier without it. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting here like, it's sweet. But that, that's not why I do it. <laughs> I mean, those who know me know I really don't care what you think about what I look like. <laughs> don't care. Most days, I can't be bothered. <laughs> but... It's fun. It's fun to make my eyes look bigger. It's fun to put something shiny on my lips. I love it. <laughs> it's fun to make my skin look like the magazines say it should just to see and know that it can look that way if I use what the hell is this um an Estee Lauder foundation it's the double wear and a little bit of this goes a long way let me tell you I put a little drop on the back of my hand and all done and I'll have extra that I have to wash off <laughs> no matter how little I put into my hand I waste some because it's just on the back of my hand, can't go back in the bottle. <laughs> it's just, it's hilarious. I have the matching concealer and it's the same amount of coverage for so little. And I'm sitting here like, I'm going to have this for like five years. <laughs> it's great. It's great. One thing I'm just not good at or just comfortable with is mascara. I don't know. It's just my eyes start watering. They start watering, and I'm just like, well, that was for nothing, <laughs> and it just fell on the ground. I'm going to grab it. Hang on one sec. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you like to do something, if you think it's fun, go for it. Let no one stop you. I mean, the only real question I have about makeup is, how does this work? I just got one of these for like five bucks. And you were like, oh, curl your lashes. It'll make them more voluminous or whatever the hell. And I'm sitting here like, okay, fine. That should be fun to try out. And this looks like a death machine, but fine. D what does this do? Am I just doing it wrong? I'm probably doing it wrong. But this does nothing for me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But it's fun. It's fun. Lesson of the video. Do what you like and let other people shut up because it's none of their dang business. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And depending... Uh, well, mm. Thing is, I might be getting a host sister. I do not know. I do not know. They have not said... Uh, that they will be there officially yet. She's from Spain. Uh, she's Basque. Her name is a very Basque name. It's Arancha, which means uh, near this town with like thorned trees or something. It translates to thorn. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was cool. She's Basque and she may be coming here. I may have a host sister. She's 16. She'll be here for two months. But yeah, I will let you know if that actually pans out because there have actually been some occasions like this, like two host sisters from Mexico wound up not coming. One host sister from Japan went to somebody else. So kind of depressed. I'm being told, oh, you might have someone coming in. And I'm sitting here like, yay, I get to share the house with somebody and we can go get lunch and it'll be fun and I'll meet international people. It'll be great. And then they don't come and I'm just like, oh, okay. I want a host brother or sister. I don't really care. <laughs> don't really care the gender, sex, whatever. Don't care. But I want a host sibling. I would like this person to come. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, I want you know how that pans out. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Au revoir!